Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to a possibly international issue of The Grid. Maybe. Uh, we've had some, uh, we've been trying to get uh, Scott's over in Europe. Obviously, it's photo walk week, big week for us. And uh, Scott's over in Europe, and we've been trying to get him um, on Skype, but having a little trouble. That Hence the so. delay. So, but um, we're just going to, we want to talk about the photo walk this week. So, obviously, I guess we got an intro. I'm Eric Kuna, and this is Jen Coffin. Hi, everybody. So, um, we uh, got to talk about photo walk this week. Mm -hmm. Big, big, big news because we yep. got the uh, 10th photo walk uh, this year, um, this uh, Saturday. So, mm -hmm. um, all over the world. And then we're just going to talk about a um, little bit of just, you know, do's and don'ts with the photo walk. And, um, you know, a little bit then getting into photography, um, maybe some do's and don'ts with the photography. Yeah. You know, you just got back from a huge trip. So. I did. I was I was like um, it was like the Chevy Chase European vacation <laughs> where we're like everywhere. And it was just uh, it, looking back on it. It was kind of like, wow, why did we do all that? It was kind of crazy. But airfares were so cheap at the time because the way the the um, exchange rates were so we just decided to go everywhere, so you it was great. Should, you should definitely talk about that because he's been talking about how cheap the airfare was, and <laughs> it I, was. I kind of was like, eh, sure it is. And I opened yeah, it no, yesterday. Yeah, no, it was crazy. Yeah. There, there are $99 flights from New York to Iceland, yeah, right? Yeah, wow. Well, Ireland, yeah. we, flew, we flew Iceland Air out of uh, Orlando, but yeah, I mean, there's great deals. And then once it's you get crazy. to Europe, it's so cheap to get everywhere. So yeah. it's um, definitely something that, uh, you know, people can consider, you know, and also the other way coming here. Mm -hmm. So um, much more affordable than you think. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, photo walk this week. Um, but before we get to that, we have prizes that we're going to give away at the end yes. of the show. We got two prizes. We've got the Platypod Ultra, which is this is a great device. I actually used this uh, last couple of weeks in Europe. Um, you know, when you get into places that you couldn't use a tripod right. or um, just, you know, you're in a scenario where you don't want to take out the tripod, it actually works uh, really well that if you just have like a ledge or something like that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give away one of those. And then for somebody in the U.S., we're going to be giving away uh, the Lens Pro to Go $50 gift card. So um, at the end of the show, we'll give you the information on how to uh, sign up and uh, two people will win that. Mm -hmm. So moving on to the photo walk. So what is a photo walk? If you've, obviously, if you've watched The Grid, you've heard us talk about the photo walk. Um, the photo walk is um, a, a social event for photographers where we photographers around the world on one day, we all get together and we all um, go to different locations in different cities and take images, you know, walking around with each other in groups of 50 or less. And that's pretty much it. I mean, mm -hmm. and then afterwards we meet together, we look at the images, uh, maybe go to a restaurant or a bar and just kind of, you know, talk and chat and yeah. and that's about it. Um, I know I've led a photo walk and been on a photo walk. You haven't been I on have not. No, any I have not been walks, on any photo walk yet. I mean, it is, I can say like, it's, it's a great, it's a great event I mean, yeah. and it's free. Um, the other thing about the photo walk um, is there's, there's cities everywhere. Gene just sent me all the stats. So we have uh, right now 982 walks with, so we, we have over a thousand walks ready. There's a couple leaders that haven't turned their walks live yet. So if you're one of those people, you know, you know go finish your walk and turn it live so people can go sign up. And um, then we have almost 20,000 walkers all over the world. That's crazy. So um, we, you know, a thousand cities, 20,000 walkers, and the big thing, you know, we've already raised uh, about $12,000 for the Springs of Hope. So That's the one fantastic. thing, that, the reason we do this event is um, to raise money for the Springs of Hope orphanage in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things way back when we started the walk. And they have, you know, over the years, the support of the community has definitely helped to build up that orphanage. And, you know, the cool thing about, um, you know, Springs of Hope that I love is they're becoming a sustainable orphanage so there a lot of the oh, cool. uh, places that they're investing into mm -hmm. is to for when the when the kids grow up to give them um, places to go work or places that the community can work and raise money for the orphanage mm -hmm. so you know your donations help to build this kind of self-sustaining environment they're growing their own food now they're getting wow. their own milk now like you know they're doing a lot of cool stuff uh, you know to you know create a 
self-sustaining community rather than always you know needing for this or needing for mm -hmm. that so mm -hmm. I, I think that's awesome yeah that's yeah. fantastic it's very smart so um you know with the um, photo walk, mm -hmm. you know, one of the things that we have to remind everybody is that it's done, you know, it's an event, you know, that's sponsored by Kelby One, mm -hmm. as well as all of our other sponsors. So, you know, we've got all these sponsors down here that have made this possible, and that's the way that it's available for free, mm -hmm. you know, is that, you know, um, these companies, we get together and we put this on for the community and doing this for, you know, photographers. All we ask is that if you go, you know, if you could, if you go over and just, you know, try, you know, if you just hit the donate and you can donate a dollar, you can donate however much you want. We just say every walker, if you could give a dollar, mm -hmm. you know, that would raise the, you know, the money that we need for the orphanage. Yeah. And if we so, have 20,000 walkers right now, but we only have about 12,000 12, or 11,000. So yeah, we got a little so way. A little ways know. to go. So, yeah, I mean, we could definitely use, you know, if you, you know, when you're out on your walk or, you know, um, if you're leading a walk, you know, make sure you just tell everybody, you know, about that. The other thing is, um, you can get the official t-shirt down here. So if you go to the site and you go to the buy now, you can actually get the official t-shirt. 100% of the proceeds from that t-shirt go to the orphanage as well. So that's Very another cool. thing, another way you can donate. Um, now, at this point, I think if you ordered it, yeah, you might have to get it like express, express ship. But you know, you can always get it for afterwards. Yeah. I know I've wore, I wear mine out and you know, there's a lot of times it's funny because people will see and go, oh, I went on the photo walk or, you know, if you wear, you know, your shirt around the ear. I think the, the cool thing about it, the thing that really um, speaks to me, you know, I most of the shoots we we're talking about this before we, we mm -hmm. started most shoots that I do. I don't necessarily go on the street and take, you know, do street photography or anything like that. But the thing that that does attract me to it is that it's kind of like you're finding your people. Like you're oh, yeah. finding your tribe. It's a group. It, yeah. It's like, you know, these are the, this is photographers. This mm -hmm. is our community, you know, and that's where, that's where both of us are. You know, I know your, your job as a producer, mm -hmm. you know, my job was in video and producer and, and, you know, it's more, but that's our jobs, mm -hmm. but we love photography. Right. Like, you know, that's where, you know, when I go travel or I did just go on a trip, like I don't shoot video. Mm -hmm. And the reason I don't shoot video is video is hard. <laughs> Yeah. It's annoying. It's really, I mean, I don't know if any of these guys could, but it's just, it's, it's hard. And photography, I enjoy it. Yeah. So it's just, I, I love photography. So I find myself when I travel doing more photography than video. Interesting. You know, even though my background is such in, in video. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. So we should say hi to a few people. Um, I guess Fernando is watching, and I guess Scott is worth. Fernando, yeah. I think, in Portugal. Yeah. Um, and Jell, I think that's how you say her name. Jell is from is saying hi from the Netherlands. Um, Mark is saying hi from Skegness, I think that's how you say that. Um, Brigitte, hey Brigitte. Um, she's always here. She always watches. That's amazing. Um, she said, hope you're good. I'm glad to be here as usual. See, there you go. Um, Cecil says hello from Norway. Um, David Robert is here from Alabama. What's up? Um, Dirk says hi from Belgium and Igor, uh, I don't think I've, uh, I've talked to you yet, Igor. Um, hi from Slovenia. Slovenia. Yeah. Just before bedtime. Well, thank you for tuning in. Thank you and so much. And that was a cool thing. Like uh, last week we were in, uh, Venice, uh -huh. uh, when the grid was going on and, oh, cool. uh, it was actually really cool to watch the grid at like night. Um, like it was 10 o'clock at night there. Yeah. And I thought that was really cool. It was way better than the programming that's on in the States at night. Right, yeah. So it was way better at what's going on. So true. Yeah, that was so. fun when you wrote in. Yeah. Because none of us were expecting to hear from you. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I get the, you get the notifications. Like, it just pops up on your phone. You're like, hey. Yeah, that's cool. So. That's super cool. Yeah. And Alexandra says hello. She said hi to you specifically. She said it's been a while since we saw you. Well, hey, how's it going? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, been, been here, been there. Yeah. Yeah. You've been busy. Been, been busy. Away. Um, and Dalton says, hey, Jen and Eric, um, a photo walk sounds like a blast, almost as much fun as a photo dive. So I assume you got it approved. Um, the last time we talked, I, I talked to Scott and he said, yeah, sure, about a photo dive. But I'm curious how it ended up, Dalton. Um, is it approved? Are you definitely doing it? Uh, let us know, because that's kind of interesting, a photo dive oh. instead of a photo walk. Yeah. Uh, and Kathy said, I'm leading a walk in Nelson, New Zealand. So excited. Very cool, Kathy. Have a good time. Um, and then D says, I'm leading a walk in Missouri, getting excited as well. Very cool. Lots of, uh, leaders here. Well, we yeah. really appreciate it guys. 
Thank you so much. Well, yeah, so um, I'm actually, uh, I've been trying to, uh, trying to get Scott, Scott here. Scott LinkedIn, yeah, says, Eric, yeah. Scott is calling you. Yeah, and do it's you, not coming up. Why don't so. we do this, um, why don't we go on a break? Yeah, let's take a break, can... <laughs> and then we'll see if we can get him on the yeah. thing. I've been trying. Let's but... see if we can make this work. Yeah. Okay, guys, we'll be right back. All right. Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here. It's Friday night, under the lights, football, and you're about to learn how to conquer this with a legend of football photography, Mr. Dave Black. Scott, thanks for having me here at the game for this class. There are a lot of problems using under the lights in football, and we're going to kind of give you those solutions for those. Oh, can you hear me? The white balance. How to figure that out when you get under the oh, lights. Oh, okay, white all right. Yeah, yeah, I hear you great. And oh, my gosh. You, you cannot. And positioning yourself on the field. Where's the best place to be strategically to get the most out of this game? Wait for that athlete to fill up that frame so that you get a shot that just knocks people's socks off. It's an amazing night taped live at a real high school football game, and it's exclusively here at Kelby One. My name is Kaylee Greer and I'm a professional dog photographer. Kelby One has been monumental in this journey of mine. I have the opportunity to pull from you. You know, Canon just released a great new full frame camera. It's the Canon 6D Mark II. It does wonderful things with video, great things with big, beautiful still images, and you can learn everything you need to know to get up and running fast and even find out some tips, tricks, and secrets that people don't know that this great camera can do. Where are you going to find this? Of course at Kelby One. I do a bunch of camera classes for Kelby One and I'm thrilled to do the 6D Mark II class. So if you're thinking about getting a 6D Mark II or if you have one and you want to know the stuff you need to know and not have to labor through the manual or dig through all the menus, Go to KelbyOne.com and look up Larry's 6D Mark II class exclusively at Kelby One. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by b &H Photo, the professional source since 1973. All right, well, we're back, and I think we have Scott here. Yay! We're going to try this. <laughs> I think you guys heard him, and now I'm not here. You hear me? Oh, I can hear you now. Hey, hey, hey Scott. Scott. How's it oh, going? Hey. hey, guys. Oh, it's going great. Uh, we, we had a calamity trying to put this together. You, like, you cannot even believe. So we're in a restaurant in Portugal. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. We, uh, can, we can see in here. I, I've got everybody here that is normally watching the grid holding up either lights or phones. <laughs> we saw one back there. I got, You've got like a hair light. Like, Look yeah, at you that. You literally do. <laughs> I know. I know. That's so, my brother Jeff. So my brother Jeff is over there with the hair light. Can you move the phone hey, over Jeff. a little bit? <laughs> Jeff's there with the hair light. Robbie Pisco is holding the the this this and the light. Mike McCaskey is holding a light back here. Cheeky Nando is over here with the light. Dave Williams is back there. Peter Treadway just showed up. Hi, Peter. <laughs> and way over there is Nemo. Like, half of our audience is here in <laughs> Lisbon. <laughs> the shout-outs must have been really short today because everybody's yeah. here. Oh, yeah. But, hey, I'm, well, I'm going to flip this around so you guys can see real quick. Yeah. So we yeah. have to shed some light. Uh-oh. Well, let me flip you around. We're in the three. Can you still hear me and see? Me? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm on some weird phone. i got to figure out how to flip it around. <laughs> All right. Yeah? Oh, just turn it this way? All right. Oh, there we it's go. Peter. Hey. Right. Here hey, we go. guys. Throw a light over here on the guys. All right. <laughs> so, in the red hey, shirt, Dave. that's Robbie Pisco. There's Dave Pete Williams. Treadway. Yes. Dave Williams. Turn over here. There's Mike McCaskey over there. Yeah. Cheeky Nando. Hey, Nando. Hey. Ex Mimo. Hey, Everybody's I just saw him. here. 
I know. You just saw him in Venice. What a yeah. small world, right? Small world. So here's the crew. We're at this way expensive restaurant. <laughs> we don't know how we got up here. None of us will have enough money to come home after this. None of us. Because, like, Fernando said, oh, i got to take them someplace fancy. And then we, we saw the menu. We all blacked out. But anyway. <laughs> but, I think that's uh, just Europe. <laughs> no, everything has been really inexpensive until tonight. <laughs> but this restaurant is amazing. Everybody said, you bring your camera. And I'm like, oh, my camera's up in the room and all. And I got here. I'm like, oh, I should have brought my camera. You got an iPhone. But, and, you got a camera. I already took. I did take some pictures of my yeah, iPhone. There you go. But uh, thank you and Jen, guys, for, yeah. for covering for me while I'm out of the country here. Sure, no uh, problem. We've, yeah. we've, had a great, we've had a great day today. Lisbon is an absolutely beautiful city. And it's not too expensive, <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. And now we have a rental car, so we have dueling rental cars. We can get lost together. Nice. And uh, we, we almost hit a tree. It's been a really fun day. It's been good. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, pulling into the restaurant, we didn't realize there was a very small tree. And, dude, we came three inches. And we're like, <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> but, but we didn't hit it, and that's the important thing. And now we have backlight in a restaurant. Anyway, thank you guys for letting me just call in and say hi to everybody. And yeah. uh, thank you guys for – you guys look really good. I've never seen the grid at 9 o'clock at night. I know. It's awesome, right? That's what I was watching at 10 o'clock last week. It's I great. We're, we're sitting here at the table watching, being frustrated that we couldn't get in. But anyway, so cheers from everybody here, all, the, all these great folks. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing everybody on Saturday for the Worldwide Photo Walk. I know you guys are talking about the Photo Walk. Yeah, yeah. It's going to you know, be great. You know how I know that? Because yeah. we were watching. We were watching you on, and, and, and the, the, the picture's sharp and crisp. It's awesome. That's great. Yeah, wow. we just couldn't get you in, huh? <laughs> what well, we got I you know, in? But uh, you don't know what it took. <laughs> How many people's phones it took? Oh yeah. And we have an IT guy. Nando's a freaking IT genius in here. Well, that's he what I was saying. Up, Eric just, kept saying. I know he did come up with a solution, though. He came up with a solution, but we had to use Dave Williams' new phone, some Android phone, to make it work. An Android phone. <laughs> yeah, fa this is a uh, Facebook to the rescue, right? You know, nice. that's what helps. Yeah, Facebook, Facebook Messenger. Yeah. yeah. Hey, while we're here, we, let's spread some fake news if we're on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> oh, Come up with something really whoa. saucy. <laughs> well, I just got blinded by the hell. That made me lose an earpiece. Oh no. Uh -oh. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Thanks very much. I appreciate you letting us Skype in, and uh, looking forward to seeing everybody on Saturday. And uh, I know you guys are too, so thanks very much. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing your images too from all the places you'll be. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're excited. Tomorrow we really hit it hard. Today we basically just slept and ate, but tomorrow <laughs> we're going to leave We're gonna leave the hotel room. And so nice. we're excited. But anyway, take care of you guys. All thanks right. very okay, much. Bye, for bye everybody. <laughs> all right. right. Peace out. Jen says bye, everybody. Jen says right, bye. Bye. See you. Peace. <laughs> Oh, all that's right, that, cool. that was like so much fun. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, that's such a such a fun crowd. But that's, I mean, that's kind of the atmosphere at a photo walk. Yeah, is very much one where you know it's just people getting together, like you said, you mm -hmm. know, um, just that community, community right. of photographers or, or like-minded people, mm -hmm. you know, that that love making great images, and it's great to see, you know. Um, you know, people, what they can create. You know, mm -hmm. I know that the, um, I've drawn a lot of inspiration, you know, when I've seen other, what other people, you know, are doing. And, and that's where, you know, you get into, uh, you know, what should you do on a photo walk? Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, what, how do you prepare for it? You know, what should you do? So preparing for it, I think, becomes to uh, a personal preference. Mm -hmm. You know, my personal preference is always to... Um, travel with the amount of gear that I need to do what I want to do, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and maybe not like 12 bags. Yeah, maybe there. not like 12 bags. <laughs> you know, I know that's the one thing that I, uh, I saw a lot of when I was traveling was people just weighed down with gear. And, yeah, that would get you know, old quick. it's just, especially when you're, tra when you're traveling, but on a photo walk and you're moving, mm -hmm. you know, weighed down with gear. Now, I say that, but one of the things that I know that 
I'm probably going to do um, is challenge myself with something uh, I tend to do on a photo walk is challenge myself something something new, something mm -hmm. you've never done before or wanted to do, but sure. you just never had the you know time. So you you know kind of just thinking outside the box. So that's one thing when you're going on a photo walk is mm -hmm. kind of to maybe take that lens that you maybe don't use all the time or. So what's maybe, that going to be for you? Well, for me, um, actually, what I've been really getting into lately is doing. Um, long exposures, you oh, know, cool. and doing, and I started getting to do extreme long exposures, you know, so actually when it was in Venice, um, mm -hmm. I was with uh, Mimo, um, and Mimo's like, he's like the long exposure photography, he's like the, one of the, the gods of long exposure photography, if you've ever seen his stuff, but um, it's really cool, and, and I'm going to challenge myself with that. So because of that, I know I'm going to need a tripod. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need an ND filter. I'm going to need a, a camera with a bulb, with bulb mode. I'm not going to be shooting with that one. Now, the one thing that I do when I shoot long exposures is I still always have my main camera, which is my iPhone. Mm -hmm. You know, So I always have my main camera with me. And while I'm doing that long exposure, I'm shooting other stuff. You know, that's a lot of my, my shots come from, you know, I'll just set up a camera, do a long exposure, and then start looking around and seeing what else is out there. That's cool. You know, so um, that's, that's what I've been getting into lately, and I'm going to challenge myself because I've, I'm, um, I'm going over to Orlando to yeah, the uh, with photo Hilmar. walk there. Yeah, so I'm yeah, going Hilmar's over to that here. one. Hey, Hilmar. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> I'll be there. Um, and I think I'm going to challenge myself to do a long exposure in Disney. I've never done it. I've, and, like, extreme long exposure. I want to get something where the park is packed, Yep. And, you know, there's nobody there. Like, I did one, um, this is one I did in the Louvre um, last week where it was, this one was eight minutes. That's I great. still have to clean That's it fantastic. up. There's still stuff. There's still some, you know, aberrations and stuff like that. But, you know, there's 3,000 people there, right, you know, in that mm -hmm. shot. You know, but because of that long exposure, they're, they're all gone. Yeah. So um, same thing, like this is when I was with Mimo. This is actually where he took us out to. It was this That's pier. That's beautiful. And, um, you know, there's boats going by. There, I mean, there's, this is their highway. This is like there's major mm -hmm. traffic mm -hmm. going by. But when you do that long exposure, you get that, like, really smooth. And, you know, just it, it's, it just looks I, – I like it. It looks cool. This is yeah. what I'm into. You know, so I'm going to challenge myself with a lot of that stuff. Um, and it's actually kind of nice because you have you have uh, you know your family and your kids that I'm sure mm -hmm. you go to Disney with all the time. But this mm -hmm. is like a different type of experience where you actually can do things like long exposure oh, yeah. photography, which you really can't do when you have your family. Oh yeah, with well, you. and that's yeah, you know, like even when I did like this stuff, I mean, it's because my family loves to sleep, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So this was usually uh, you know when they're sleeping, you know. Mm -hmm. Or the other thing though is you know um, my daughter's really into this, so she totally loves photography which oh, I'm blessed good. to have, you know, um, you know, a daughter that's getting, you know, getting into it because right. that helps me to teach her. But mm -hmm. also um, it helps in that the fact that she's actually enjoying it. She's mm -hmm. not like, oh, why, dad, why are we spending so long trying? Right. It's, it's funny because she's getting to that point where she's working a scene more than I'm working a scene. You know, where she's like, she's like, I got to get the shot. I got to get the wow. shot. Like, um, it was she's funny. She's young. Yeah, <laughs> she's, she's young. Yeah, but um, she's seven. So, um, but yeah, she she loves it. And, and that's another thing with the photo walk is the photo walk is totally like casual. Mm -hmm. um, I know every photo walk I've ever been on, on is um, kids are, are there. Oh, you know? really? Yeah, oh, I've always okay. seen kids there. Um, and, you know, it's just a casual event. It's just, you know, it's nothing too formal, you know, and a lot of people help people out, you know. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, cool. it's cool. Yeah. yeah isn't there um, a new entry for the contest? For, yeah, there's a, there's a, it's kids a yeah, there's a kids. Like, yeah. um, I don't, I'd have to look it up. I don't know if the, like the age, but yes, on the contest, mm -hmm. there is a contest just geared towards students. Right. Um, so what is the deal with the contest? Youth, yeah. What's the deal with the contest in general? So, so the contest, what's cool about the photo walk is not only, you know, do, is the photo walk free, but there's also contests with it. Mm -hmm. So um, you as a participant can enter um, a contest to win the grand prize. So the, and if you go to the prizes page here, you can see like the grand prize. I mean, it's, it's, almost $5,000 worth of 
gear and stuff, you know? So, I mean, you know, you get a lot, of, you know, it's, it's stuff from Canon, from B&H, you know, from the sponsors, Westcott, Platypod, uh, Adobe, and Kelby One. And then if you're one of the finalists, you know, we have prizes for the finalists. We have a People's Choice Award, which is another big award where um, everybody that's a, a finalist from each of the cities mm -hmm. um, gets put into a People's Choice Award where all the people on the photo walk um, and all the people around the world can vote oh, and, on neat. the winner. Um, and then um, now this year, um, there's a new um, uh, youth competition. So mm -hmm. basically anybody under 18, you know, entering, uh, there's a youth competition where they can win a EOS Rebel and a, a printer and all that stuff. So. Wow, that's pretty nice. And then there's also a, a video competition. So if you're shooting video, mm -hmm. Which I will not be because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I could shoot video, but I don't choose not to. Right. Um, but yeah, no. Um, there's a there's a video competition mm -hmm. where you can put together uh, and submit your walk in video form. You know, like a, a, a recap video or some kind of, you know, some kind of artistic or you know some type of artistic video on your photo walk. Hmm. Um, and then the winner actually um, receives. Um, from there, the uh, there's a video ADD video creator video creator kit from Canon. Oh, that's great! And um, wow. you get all the adapters and the the um, the power zoom adapter. It's pretty cool. And then for all the leaders, obviously we do a leader contest. So mm -hmm. because the leaders can't enter the Walker contest, we allow the leaders to enter the leader contest. So. Wow. Yeah, so, right. um, and it, it's really easy, you know, if you want to enter, uh, if you're watching and you're like, oh, I don't know if there's a photo walk near me, all you got to do is go up here in the corner, and there's a little find a walk button, you click find a walk, that's going to bring up a whole page of um, destinations here on the map, you can search for your location, and, um, you know, just find a city near you, and sign mm -hmm. up, and it's all free, um, and that's great, so, yeah. Very cool. We have a few questions here. Um, David is saying casual, non-structured walk, just take enough gear to cover the daily activities with question marks. Um, so yeah, I guess so, right? Pretty casual. Yeah, it's, it's definitely casual. Mm -hmm. um, there is a structure to the walk in that the leader who's leading the walk is in charge of structuring the path of the walk. Um, the leader is also responsible for the group, the making sure we're all safe and we're all traveling in the right directions. Um, so there is structure to it, but it is very much like a place to experiment and a place to do, you know, just fun stuff with photography. Mm -hmm. um, and just take enough gear to cover the daily activities. Yeah, pretty much exactly. Like, you know, I you could load yourself down with a bunch of gear if you want. You could you could take your iPhone and you'd be fine too yeah so mm -hmm. it's just up to the individual definitely right. up to the individual that makes sense yeah um michael says hello from the london ohio photo walk i'm excited to be a leader once again um i guess he was a leader two, two years, years? Yeah. Yeah, thanks two michael years? Yeah, we appreciate it and we great. appreciate that from all of all of our leaders because they are all volunteering their time as well mm -hmm. you know just like you know this event sponsored there's volunteers it's all raised money for the uh orphanage um, you know, we thank all the leaders because, I mean, there's, there's over a thousand leaders mm -hmm. that are taking their time to put together these events for photographers all over the world. Yeah. So That's thanks fantastic. for doing that. And Mark, and, um, oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, Matt, Matt's saying he's leading a photo walk, <laughs> the Wombat. So that's he, cool. He, yeah. He's saying he would lead one, but as a oh, New Yorker, I'd lead. I, I would lead one, but as a New Yorker and Austin Southerners don't walk fast enough to keep up. I don't Hashtag know. Mosey. I don't know about that, the wombat. <laughs> no one walks as fast as New Yorkers. I will give them that, but that's yes. not a reason not to yeah, lead a come walk. On, what the Matt. heck, Matt? Come, come on. on. Okay, and Mark Rodriguez says, Hey guys from Brandon, Florida. Eric, I see that you signed up for Hilmar and my photo walk at Animal Animal yeah. Kingdom. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait. And yeah, my daughter can't fun. wait either. Oh, uh, she's going. Yeah. Oh, so well, good. Animal Kingdom is her favorite park. She's okay. like an animal lover. So, yeah. 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 Well, cool. Um, and then Brenda has a question about your last photo in Venice. She said, mm -hmm. How much did the natural movement of the boat, the boat shot in long exposure, affect the shot? Well, the you shot. know, the. The boats will move in the shot. So, um, you know, actually, if I zoom in here, you can see these gondolas 
you know, they're blurred. I mean, they're, they've got that blurry motion, but that's kind of, I kind of like that about them, you know, where it's got that kind of blurred motion to them. It kind of adds that, you know, like that silkiness mm -hmm. to it. Um, now there are boats just strolling down this river constantly. In fact, I probably have other shots where you could see that like this, where you've got these boats that are just constantly coming on the river. It's just like a highway. Mm -hmm. um, and like here where you've got boats just coming on the river, but then that, so that shot, that same shot is pretty much about the same time. Uh, you know, you're oh, talking wow. maybe two, three minutes difference. Mm -hmm. So you've got long exposure here. You can actually see some of that streakiness with the boats, but you don't get, you know, it's not, not that much that affects it. Anything that stands still, stay still and anything with motion creates that blur. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's that, there's that, or there's like, that was another one earlier in the morning, you know, oh, there. Cool. So, um, yeah. So that's about that. And yeah, and I don't know, I'm trying to think, you know, there's like this one where it's got a little, that one's a little shorter, but a long exposure, but, and then that was a really, really long exposure. Like how long? That was eight minutes. Eight I minutes. wish I would have gone longer. In mm -hmm. retrospect, I probably would have gone 16, maybe Oh, minutes, my God. So on know. these photo walks, you're going to be doing long exposures. So how will that affect the group? Will the group just move on, or will they stay with you, or how does that oh, work? Oh, the group will move on. The group will, sure. okay. I'm You'll sure. just catch up. I'll catch up. Okay. So, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we should take a break. Um, one last break, and then mm -hmm. we'll come back. Yeah. So. All right. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> Howdy folks, Moose Peterson here. Are you a photographer? Do you have some camera gear that you think are your best friends, your precious little children? Well, do you go out shooting a lot? Probably needs a little care and maintenance, and that's what this class is all about. How do you take care of your camera gear? For example, do you have a cleaning kit? What items do you need in that cleaning kit? We're gonna go through all of that. What about the actual place you're gonna clean your gear? Have you thought about that? You think about it, it's important. How about cleaning a sensor? that old precious sensor that might scare the bajiggers out of you. How about cleaning your camera body? Your lenses, lens mounts, filters, zooms, fish eyes, glass, metal, rubber, all of those surfaces that make up our camera gear. We're gonna go through cleaning it, maintaining it, so you can do your favorite thing, go out and take pictures. Exclusively here on Kelby One, come check it out. Hi everybody, Scott Kelby, Larry Becker here, and we just finished a class on travel photography, but it's a special series of classes that I'm doing. Uh, they're called Travel Photography, a photographer's guide to, in this case, the city of Venice, Italy. It is one of the most beautiful and fabulous and romantic and interesting places on the planet, and I show you all of my favorite places to shoot inside this amazing city. And I'm gonna give you a couple of tips and things you might not know or might not find out on yourself. I've done a lot of research. I've got some friends that help me out there. Uh, lots of fun stuff, lots of great places to shoot to make the very most. If you're thinking about going to Venice or you're going to Venice, you got to watch this brand new class exclusively here on Kelby One. I'm Amanda Powell, and I'm a wedding photographer out of Sarasota, Florida. One thing that captured my attention when I first discovered Kelby One's website was the array of professionals that they used to teach the photography. Each individual class was extremely organized. It was from start to finish. I feel comfortable with the photographers that they support. For me, it's a relationship. You establish them and they last a lifetime. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by b &H Photo, the professional source since 1973. And we're back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, we're back. We got a couple. I think we got a couple questions here. Right? Yes, we do. Or and we also comments. have Johan um, littering the chat there with Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Yeah. It's time to take a drink. Yeah. For everybody. Out Three there. drinks. There you go. Mm. There you go, Johan. And Johann. then Carl said, I just got an ND1000 today from Amazon. Mm. 40 oh, bucks. <laughs> But yeah, no, yeah, the, the you definitely need, you know, to do that long exposure stuff. You need, mm -hmm. you know, at least a 10 stop, you know, I was, most of that I was stacking a 10 stop on, and a three stop on top of that. So mm -hmm. it was 13 stop. Gotcha. So, 
Um, yeah. And then Chris Wiley is asking, any thoughts on moving from a 6D to a 7D Mark II? Is there a reason that you would move from a 60 to 70 Mark II? I, I think that would be my question always when you're with gear. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's one thing that I, I'll tell you, that's another thing when I travel that kind of is weird, right? Is that everybody wants to talk about gear. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to talk about the shots, the lighting, right. the, the, the environment, nothing. They always want to talk about the gear. And it's like, yeah, in, a camera is a camera, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, it just matters on what you need out of it. You know, um, certain things, you know, like if you're going to do, you know, longer exposure, you're going to need something that has bulb mode. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, that's what you'll need. You know, if you're going to shoot sports or high action, you're going to need or birds or something like that. You're going to need faster frames per second, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's just matters of what are you really desiring to do yeah. and what do you need to do because, Reality is most cameras can, I mean, most of the, half of my shots that I picked out that I love are from my iPhone. That's crazy. You know, and there's times when I can put like, like this is a long exposure and that's wow. an iPhone shot. That's an know? iPhone shot? So it's like, which that one do I like better? I don't know. I mean, I, there's it's parts of me that, that I go, I like that. And then there's parts of me that go, I like that. Do you, you know? do you need a connect? Are you connected? Uh, I think I am, but well, maybe not. <laughs> Meredith. Yeah. There so there's that and then there's that. You know. Very cool. I you can't get one thing is I did a long exposure there. Mm -hmm. You can't get that on an iPhone. Well you yes. could, but it's a little bit more difficult, you know, and then you got that on an iPhone. You know, that's an iPhone. Um and that's not an iPhone, mm -hmm. you know, so right. it just matters. You know. I, uh, I recently was just, um, I recently got a 5D Mark IV, and this entire mm -hmm. time I've been shooting with the original 7D, and I really had to justify, you know, spending all of that money on the 5D Mark IV, but I got to a point where I just needed mm -hmm. to bump up my ISO. I right. shoot a lot of times with yeah, natural exactly. light, and I needed that. It was, it became a limitation to me, so it was worth it to to spend the money to get the, the camera that will actually do what I need it to do. Yeah, like that, this one here, that, that's one of my favorite shots of, you know, my daughter and my niece, right? But that's an iPhone, you know, like, yeah. like you, you can't, I mean, these oh. are iPhone, that's iPhone, you know, that's not an iPhone, you know, so it just matters, you know, what you're doing. Right. So that's when you ask about cameras, it's just, it really matters on what you're doing with it, you know, mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Cool. Um, and Matt, again, he asked, can you just use, use welding glass in place of an ND filter? You could, yeah. Mm -hmm. Welding glass is about the same. I mean, the one thing about the ND filter is versus welding glass, welding glass is probably going to shift your colors a lot, you know, because mm -hmm. it just, I mean, that's, that's the thing, like a, like a cheaper ND filter. Uh, if you put it on there, you're going to have problems with color later. So a lot of mm. times you'll see people that do long exposures changing stuff to black and white mm -hmm. because it's shifting their colors and moving their colors so much. Mm -hmm. So that's where, but again, when you're starting out, yeah, I mean, just get the ND filter off of Amazon that, you know, is a great price and, you know, yeah. really well reviewed and you'll, you'll get a, you'll get a good image. So. <laughs> So he's looking to switch to start shooting sports. So mm -hmm. then I would say yes, because that's gonna give you way more frames per second than what you have. You have a 60, you're moving to 70 Mark II. It's a crop sensor, so that's great for shooting sports because you're gonna get closer to the image because you're at, uh, what is it, Canon's 1.5 or 1.6, 1.6 crop factor. So you know if you put a 200 on there, mm -hmm. you're actually multiplying that out. Right. You know, And you're gonna shoot Fast frames per second. So yeah, I mean, if you're getting into getting it in, if you're going to get into sports, yeah, moving to that camera would make sense. Fantastic. There totally. you go, Chris. Um, and Michael said he just signed up for Kelby One. Welcome, Michael. That's fantastic. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, glad you're here. Um, Johan said, Jen, did you already get your new camera out of the box and do you like it? So Johan, this was crazy. I had a shoot last week and um, I did take, I had just received the camera a day or two before. I did take it out of the box and I snapped some shots around my living room and I had used um, mm -hmm. a 5D Mark IV that we had here. So I had played with it before and I had used it and I knew that I really liked it. So I just, you know, shot a few around the living room, went, this, this works great, fantastic. I changed the settings to what I wanted it to be and then I had a shoot it was a boudoir client and um and i told her oh i'm so excited to have this amazing new camera i can do more more things on it so this is great you know that i have this and i had it set i had one setting on it 
it was um, optimal lens correction, optimal mm -hmm. lens something. Yeah. And it, I don't know, I must have accidentally turned it on or something, I don't know. And it was so slow. Yeah. I had mid shoot to switch back to my 70. Oh. It was terrible. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got a defective camera. This is terrible. And Googled it and found out but what the problem was. But then you figured out what the problem figured was. Figured out yeah. what the problem was, yeah. So that, that actually brings me up to a good point of when you're going out on a photo walk, one thing you really should do is experiment yeah. and practice. Because that's the time you're not under stress. You're not right. doing something for a job or you're not doing something for a mm -hmm. client. Like, get outside and like push those envelopes. Like, that's the time, the photo walk is the time, if you're shooting in auto mode or you're shooting in oh, program yeah. mode, like turn the dial to manual. Yeah, like, absolutely. And try the manual mode and yeah. try to do something that's like, wow, I wonder if I, what I could do if I go into manual mode or just go into aperture priority. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a step in the right direction, mm -hmm. getting off that auto or that program mode. But yes, just go into manual mode, start doing stuff fun. Definitely, you know? especially with all the photographers around you because if mm -hmm. something isn't working out, you will have plenty of people to tell you, you know, how to fix oh, your yeah, problem. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, and, and that's what, yeah, that's definitely something to practice. Um, it's a time to practice, it's a time to have fun. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is if you're going out on a photo walk or you're going anywhere, this is another, tip that I always do when I travel, especially, and I know we do it because of the type, you know, being producers and stuff, is location scout. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, you don't even have to leave home to location scout so a lot true. of times. Mm -hmm. Google Maps, things like that, mm -hmm. Street View, you can, you can definitely figure out where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Like that happened to me in Paris where, you know, I wanted to, um, go and shoot at a certain location because I was like, I know, I know the shot inception there. Mm -hmm. I know it's the bridge they use. I want that shot. And then I also knew that I could frame up the Eiffel Tower in the shot. So, um, so I was able to, you know, go on Google Street View and find where I needed to get dropped off, where I needed to be, what time I needed to be there, where the sun was coming up. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can do all those things. So when you're going on a photo walk or you're going out the location, that's something. Now, there's the other side of it is sometimes you don't want to plan. You mm -hmm. want to be spontaneous to kind of push your creativity. So it just matters yeah. what you're trying to do. And there's definitely a balance there because yeah. with regards to, you know, pushing your creativity, uh, I was trying to think of, of something that I could bring a value to, to everyone watching with regards to photography and mm -hmm. going on this photo walk. And I was telling Eric, I don't do a lot of travel photography or street mm -hmm. photography, but I will say this. I did a, a study abroad in, um, in Europe when I was in college and we had this amazing, amazing instructor. I mean, just this guy who's just off the charts creative and he gave us assignments um and he gave us like topics that we had to go out and photograph and so my one of my topics was um color light and balance um that was that was mm -hmm. my my cool. what i needed to go photograph and so i went to all these cathedrals and i went all around and that is what i had in my head i was really focusing on color and light and balance and going into the into these amazing locations with that in mind completely changed the way that i shot and it was so cool because i i have images that that really they're very cohesive um, they all go together and, mm -hmm. and it looks like I shot That's them cool. all with, yeah, with that in yeah. mind. And I still, you know, as of a couple of years ago, had several of them up on my walls and stuff. So that's something that you could try out too. Um, like you said, trying to push yeah, your creativity. Like, like that's definitely something that's like when you're going into practice, like, like pick something mm -hmm. and go like, you know, like I was saying, I'm probably going to, I'm, I'm trying to push myself towards that. Like, what can I do with long exposure? That's kind of outside the box. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it is like a color that you're picking. Right. It yep. could be as simple as that and mm -hmm. say, hey, I just want to focus on red. Right. And I'm gonna look for red everywhere and I'm mm -hmm. gonna focus on capturing the color red the best I can. Right. You know, and it really gets you to like think and stop and compose Absolutely. and work and, and kind of like work and, and hunt yeah. for the photo. You see things in a way that you would never see it um, mm -hmm. without having that in your mind. Because I know I would have set foot in the cathedrals and just taken the typical you know, shot like everyone else got, but I saw things differently. And even, you know, well, that's the, awesome. yeah. like a specific color or even lighting, mm -hmm. like looking for dramatic lighting or, or different things like that, or focusing on, on people and emotion. And yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things to think about. So, so that could um, be something to play around with. Oh yeah, definitely. And um, 
you know, the other thing I was, I was on here that I had on my list is, you know, to think outside the box, you know, you know, to try that, try something new kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know, is um, just walk into a situation and, and, and think what, what wouldn't I do here? Mm -hmm. And then maybe you got to try to go do that, you know? Yep. And, you know, really think outside the box. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it. Yeah. But yeah, so um, Photo Walk is this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, it's totally free. Um, it's something where you can, you know, um, sign up on the website. Um, and what else do we, is there anything else on the list? Yeah, get, oh, on the site, though, there is this section, um, Get Ready to Walk, if you want to go there. Um, there's a bunch of tutorials as well. On oh, the that's site. great! So oh, you can cool. um, you click on this "Get Ready to Walk" section on the website, and um, down here there's a bunch of videos from Canon, from Adobe Stock, uh, from Platypod, um, and there's also offers from you know partners there. But mm -hmm. these videos are great because it just shows you like you know um, maybe how to prep your camera, maybe how to look at photo assignments, quick tips. Um, you know, like for example, with stock, I mean, you might want to experiment shooting in the photo walk with the intent of shooting for stock. Oh, that's so you know? true. Like, yeah. it, you know, in all of our times, you know, like, you know, I, if I'm traveling, I'm not having the intention of shooting for stock. I'm right. shooting for myself or mm -hmm. usually shooting for my family, you know, um, or like you when you're shooting for an assignment. The photo walk maybe gives you an opportunity to try that new thing. Maybe you want to go shoot with the intent of shooting for stock. Yeah. So there's a lot of videos on there uh, that Terry did where he's talking about, you know, what you should shoot, um, the legalities of it, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. I, uh, I actually, after um, hearing so much from Terry about, about Adobe Stock, I'm actually going to do my very first shoot where I shoot um, for the purpose of, of getting stock photos mm -hmm. um, to sell on Adobe Stock. And I'm doing a trade with a model where she just needs extra photos for her Instagram um, account and all of that. And I told her, no, I've shot you too many times. So this is our agreement. We're going to do mm -hmm. that trade. So that's, that's a great idea to think about um, cool. the photo walk. Yeah, very doing cool. Doing photo walk. Well, guys, um, well, we got to give away uh, two prizes. So yes. um, to enter the prizes, you go to... Kelby1.com slash contest, I believe. Correct. Kelby1.com slash contest. There it is. Awesome. Uh, you go to contest form. Um, you go up to the select the show. You go down to um, the grid. And then you fill out your information. Tell us which one of these ones you want to uh, win. Uh, just know if you live, in, you have to live in the U.S. in order to win the Lens Pro to go. Um, and you enter there, and two winners will get selected, and we'll mail out your prize. Yep. Yeah. So um, now next week, is Scott, Scott's still out next week? I think week. he's still out next yes, week. Yes, <laughs> Scott's still out next week, so we're not sure what type of international or non-international issue or it, episode we'll have. Yeah. But we will have an episode of The Grid. Yep next week so uh, tune back in next week and we'll ha we'll have probably a lot from the photo walk you know to a lot of uh, you know because mm -hmm. we uh, you know during the photo walk again the hashtag that's a good point if you're posting stuff to social if you're doing anything like that the hashtag is wwpw17 is says it? Rachel. Says Rachel. So <laughs> that's official. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just tag it with that because that way we, you know, just hashtag it with that so then we can, you know, see that stuff and, and collect that stuff. And that way we, because we, we want to share it with everybody. We want to be able to, you know, uh, show all the walks and make sure if you're in a walk, you know, get a group shot, send us your group shots, um, send us your videos, send us anything that you guys, you know, you know, have at the mm -hmm. photo walk. We'd love to share it with the community. And so. definitely donate. Oh yes, and definitely donate. Yeah. So all one dollar. That's all you. All mm -hmm. you have to donate is one dollar. Yeah, that's doable. So. That's doable. Oh yeah. oh yeah. So, well, guys, um, thanks for tuning in to this. Um, well, so it was an international it episode. Was. <laughs> international episode of the Grid. We. Uh, it was great to see some of those faces that uh, we don't get to see on the Grid actually yeah. on uh, Scott's. Uh, With Scott in person. Yeah, that was awesome. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we'll see you guys uh, and look at it. it's. Five o'clock on the Perfect. dot. So Perfect. we will see you guys next week <laughs> on the grid. Bye, guys. Have fun this weekend. <laughs> this segment of the grid is brought to you by Platypod, the world's most compact tripod base.